She yes. continues to sell millions, has her songs ranked number amazing. one on Melon, and has garnered amazing. tens of millions of views on her music videos on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to react to um, one of you guys have suggested and this is the another video from Pop Sorry which is why you should know IU from Nation's Little Sister to one of Korea's most influential stars. So I love videos like this and we also recently reacted to Pop Sorry with the video why IU is so well respected in Korea. So I'm excited to like find out what this video is all about. Like it's kind of yeah, the from her voice to like where she is right now. I think so. That's the vibe that I'm getting. That's what I'm getting from the title. So yeah, let's go and react to this one right now. It's time to talk about IU, one of the most trendy and popular artists today in Korea. So we're gonna break down IU's current career and mm -hmm. why she's so popular today. Right? Debuting in 2008, she exploded in the 2010s and became one of the most successful musicians in K-pop history. Yes. And this is pretty big because K-pop heavily favors K-pop groups, mm -hmm. not soloists. Yes. So for IU to break that mold and become so successful is really impressive. Now in this video, we're not going to talk about the origins of IU or her beginnings. I actually made a video about that yeah. around two, two and a half years ago. And if you want to check that out, <laughs> it's in the description below. In this video, we're going to talk about IU's current career and why she's so trendy and popular from 2018 to the present. So with that being said, let's get on to it. Let's, let's start go. with her surge in popularity in 2020. Mm. IU and Suga's collaboration on no. the song 8. Love this. Now I'm sure as soon as the collaboration was first announced, the K-pop universe must have exploded, as fans couldn't fathom having not just one superstar, but two of the biggest stars in K-pop. The <laughs> song 8 is about how IU is learning how to love herself, and that if she died, she would have no regrets and would mm. live the same life again. Oh, it's a so touching song that starts off in a sci-fi setting and weaves both live action and animation shots. The video shows just how IU is feeling at this point of her K-pop career and shows a deeper glimpse so of her struggles pretty. of being a mega popular singer and turning Love 28 years old. Red. I've also heard the fan theories floating out there how the music video yeah. is a tribute to Jonghyun, Guhara, and Sully, three mm -hmm. K-pop stars who sadly took their own lives under the immense pressure of K-pop stardom. But as reasonable and heartwarming that those theories are, I'll go with the official statement of yeah. what IU says that the song is about. 8 is also a continuation of her songs which reference her age, 23, 25, Cons and 28. Oh in yeah, the, songs, the age series, right? Palette, and now 8. Because in this song, when she talks about being 28 years old, mm -hmm. IU talks about loneliness and wanting to mm -hmm. be on an orange island where there's no sadness and everyone can be happy. 8 would be yeah. trending not only in Korea, but in many other Asian countries, right? hitting number one on each country's respective music charts. The song trends. also has a rabid fan base <laughs> within K-pop fans over in the West. And 8 has been on a tear on the popular music show Inki Gayo, winning the right? show's award for best song for the third week in a row. In the past 10 years, Amazing. IU has not only built a career for herself, but became one of the most influential female solo singers in Korean music history. To call her yep. immensely popular in 2020 in Korea would not be an understatement. Now usually, a singer's prime can last a couple years before they sort of fade into the background. And honestly, it's understandable, mm. as it's incredibly hard to stay relevant it's in the ever-changing landscape known as K-pop. And a big reason why is youth, as youth is one of the mm -hmm. most desired and valuable commodities in the entertainment industry, God as being it. young symbolizes trendy, cool, and what the 18 to 34 age demographic are into. I often compare K-pop stars to athletes, mm. as athletes start off young and hit their prime a few years later, usually in their early to mid 20s, depending on the sport. K-pop stars hit their prime in their late teens to early 20s, yeah. usually tapering off soon after. A major reason for a K-pop star's downfall is because of K-pop fans' ever-changing tastes. In mm. general, K-pop fans are very if fickle evolve, and are always chasing like, the newest trend and attaching out, themselves to the next new like, young idols. You know, yeah. So if IU managed to hit her prime and was really popular for say only two to three years, honestly, mm. that's a big accomplishment. There's yeah. nothing to be ashamed of if a singer is relevant just for a few years. Nearly all K-pop stars would love to have their career where they were one of the top selling artists for a few years before stepping aside Aww. for the new batch so of young pretty. idols to take their place. 
With Ayu though, she's one of a kind. She not only stayed at the top as a tier 1 most sought after soloist in the 2010s, but actually gotten more popular this as she grew so older proud. into her mid and like now late 20s. Became, and that's like, a rarity, as Ayu is 28. In like, uh, where for most mega popular K-pop stars, their popularity starts to wane. Yes. And one of the biggest reasons why she's still thriving as she's approaching 30 is that she diversified. She looked yes. at it from a business standpoint. She's one of the most she, marketable she's... and recognized celebrities on CFs or commercial films, known more uh -huh. as a ballad and singer-songwriter uh -huh. rather than just a K-pop idol, and has invested into her acting career. Yes. And since we mentioned acting, Let's go with that next. In recent years, IU's been delving into Korean dramas. Yes. And while she first got her start back in the teen drama Dream High you 1 might. back in 2011, uh -huh. from there, she fleshed out her acting career. In fact, many people today consider IU as a legitimate Legit. actress from the Legit. foreign fans to the Korean public. Yes, in the past some few years, I discovered her acting through seriously. her acting Starring and in some not big by her dramas. songs. She starred in Hotel de Luna, mm -hmm. Persona, my Mister Persona. and Moon Lover's Mister. Scarlet Heart Reel. Usually yes. with K-pop turned actors, their transition to acting ends up quite horrible. The yeah. Korean public but is pretty skeptical to singers IU. trying to break into acting. This is quite difficult to become a good, <laughs> let alone photos. excellent one. Someone Yet, in will. just a few years, she became a legitimate oh. professional actress to the Korean public rather than just an idol but, who just yes. happened to do acting. She would win drama awards in 2019, True. showing that she's here to stay in the acting world. She would also She's lend her amazing. voice to one of the biggest K-dramas in recent years, yes. Crash Landing on You, in 2020. And this is quite big, as her voice in Crash Landing would be the first time officially that she would sing in a drama OST in nine years. Wow. The last drama song she was officially in being in 2011 with The Greatest so Love. Long ago. Previous songs that she did that were made into dramas, such as mm -hmm. Bel Ami, were not included in the drama's mm. original OST. While the song, Our Happy Easter, in the drama Hotel de Luna in mm. 2019, was not released. Thus, mm. the nine-year absence from her doing Korean drama OSTs from 2011 it's to 2020. It's quite a long way. So IU is back as the face of Chami Sol. And if you guys don't know what Chami Sol is, it's a, a popular of alcoholic beverage and a beverage that has one of the biggest exposures in Korea. And the Ooh. big reason why is because Korea is a big drinking <laughs> country. So a lot of I college noticed. students as well as adults drink. And when a you're drinking, the you see the person's watch. face on the soju bottle. Yes. And from 2014 <laughs> to 2018, that How face was this? IU. And she got a ton of exposure from it. And I remember when I lived in Seoul, I lived in a popular college campus called Kongguk University. And I would see her face often because <laughs> I was surrounded by college students. So mm. now, by popular demand, I use back for a second go around. I wow. use return as the Chami Seoul girl was felt immediately. Kita General stocks increased by 7.28% after the IU announcement, showing the massive branding attached me? to IU. And a major reason why being the IT Chami Soul girl is so big is that your face will be seen everywhere. Chami Soul is a popular soju brand. Korea is a big drinking country, so naturally much alcohol will be consumed on a given day. And with downing soju, the presence of seeing Look IU on the bottle of every Chami Soul soju will be there. Now you may be asking, isn't having a celebrity that showcases alcohol bad for children? Mm -hmm. It's a very good question too, and I've always wondered that. Since I use a well-known celebrity that has a lot of teenage and younger fans, yeah. you would think this would be a bad idea. There's a lot of circulating that may ban was... future idols, singers, and actors oh. that appeal to younger fans from endorsing alcoholic beverages. But at the time of this video recording, the law hasn't passed just yet. Mm -hmm. CFs or commercial films are one of the biggest indicators to tell of a celebrity is popular in Korea. Doing a lot of high-profile CFs oh. increases a star's branding and Does income. She have, like, a and there's lot no of better CFs CF in star Korea. in the mid-2010s than IU, where she was regarded as a CF queen. She's oh. a household name in fashion, smartphones, yes. electronics, clothing, fashion. beverages, and more. Now that we talked about how IU looked at K-pop, Korean music, as a business and how she diversified to stay as a top tier artist, let's break down some of the other aspects that make her popular. Let's One of go. the most trending topics on the singer just last year was the mm -hmm. IU diet. There's a lot of K-pop oh, fans that want to be skinny God. like IU, so naturally they wondered about her eating habits. And these fans would soon have their answers revealed. On various talk shows, she would finally break down her diet to stay slim, especially before shooting a new music video. Mm. In a nutshell, the diet is extreme cutting out nearly oh. everything exercise thrown in. The IU diet consists yeah, of having one, one apple for breakfast, two sweet oh potatoes God. for lunch, and oh, one IU protein shake for this. dinner. And that's it. Exercise such as running for 30 it's minutes, like doing weights, and stretching are also incorporated. 
Once the diet was revealed, many K-pop fans would experiment for themselves and post their results on YouTube. And the results were mixed. Some lost mm -hmm. a lot of weight, up wow. to 15 to 20 pounds wow, within a I one to three waste. month range. These K-pop YouTubers say Hold that on. the first week of the IU diet is horrible, but if you stick with it, you get used to not eating as much and mm. become a lot more encouraged by the shrinking weight. From there, these K-pop YouTubers kept off the How weight, the adopted place? healthier Should eating styles, and lost weight fast thanks to the IU diet. Others say that the diet is way too extreme and unhealthy, especially mm. if you lead a busy lifestyle. Yeah. These YouTubers yeah. say that I by agree. day three or four, they just had to tap out and give up on the diet. That the diet is not balanced. They say that by doing the IU diet in the long run, it's not sustainable. And a mm. much better alternative is just to eat healthier, lose weight in small increments, and live a better lifestyle. In addition to losing much needed calories and nutrients the by following the IU diet, no the mental stress is downright unhealthy as well. Now yeah. these K-pop diets aren't new. As K-pop stars are required to go through this. Red Velvet's Wendy, Suzy, and BTS's Jimin have similar diets. Yet with IU stature in the K-pop scene, having her diet in the public will naturally have some K-pop fans wanting to emulate their favorite singer's yep. habits. If it's one thing that the IU That's diet shows though, it, it's that Korean music artists go through a lot just to look good in the cutthroat K-pop industry. When IU first started her career, she was demure and reserved, that, not wanting to cause guys. any trouble. Yet as she gotten older and a lot more popular, she's, she's a also fighter. gotten a lot of haters from both the fans as well as from the media. It's an unfortunate expectation for being a megastar. But unlike her earlier years, where she would let the barbs go by and try her best to ignore them, she would soon fight, fight back. back. She would call right? these haters out that mocked her for years. One song, Beep Beep, illustrated mm -hmm. just this and showed that IU Yellow was not going to take crap any longer. She would mention yellow journalism, call haters in the media for crossing the line by giving them a yellow card, which mm -hmm. is a penalty in football or soccer. Because she's very nice. How fans and media need their own yellow card when crossing the line, when attacking a celebrity too far. And in singing Beat Beat, her message of not taking crap anymore would be dressed up in a cutesy pop song mm -hmm. that was nobody's business who she dates, what she's doing, or mm -hmm. how her private life is. Mm -hmm. She would shift from her girl next door image to a more confident woman. She would really just have this I don't really care attitude and fight back. Mm -hmm. And you would see this shift in attitude in the drama Hotel de Luna, where she yes. would play a character that just doesn't take people's insults <laughs> and doesn't care who will judge her. As yeah. more people try to pry into her private life each year, she's told them that it's none of their business. And whether she lives an innocent life or leads or, a more adventurous one, that's yeah. really up to her. As long up as she maintains her. professionalism with her work yes. and with dealing with the press and fans, yeah. that's all that matters. And True. while she's been in a few scandals, her image overall is a lot cleaner compared to many other idols. She's maintained class throughout her career, so to let her live her private life class. as she sees True. fit should only be expected. Mm -hmm. The respect that IU garners from the Korean music industry is mm -hmm. quite immense. Yeah. From the aforementioned Suga that collaborated with her on 8, many other singers want to collaborate with the famed soloist, and I'm sure there's a line for people wanting to do so. In the past, she's mm -hmm. collaborated with groups such as Hi4 and mm -hmm. G.O.D, as yeah. well as solo singers Jonghyun, Radi, mm -hmm. and Zico. Zico. From many accounts, she's pretty easy to work with, her vocals work very well with the singers, and having her feature in a song will undoubtedly be a huge boost in the song's Absolutely. popularity. IU is also known to give a lot to charity. Yep. One of her more recent donations is giving 280 Corona. million won, yeah, or roughly that. about 280,000 USD, to the COVID-19 oh. pandemic. Her donation yeah, will be used to buy hand oh sanitizers, God. masks, and to help the poor with medical That's and food assistance. Lot. She's also donated 1 million won to the Sokcho fires in April 2019, donated 600 million won what? to disadvantaged children, 250 wow. million won to the Sewol tragedy in 2014, wow. and 150 million won to the elderly. Oh. This brings her lifetime donations to 1.5 billion won, or approximately 1.25 million USD. An impressive amount, no matter how much money you give. She's been known to donate a lot of her money throughout her career, wow. as many see her in a positive light Corporate. because of this. And I believe one major reason that she gives back so much is that she grew up poor herself. Yes. So when oh. she became a megastar and became my, one of the highest earning so solo singers, many applauded her when she gave back. She mm. would also take control of her music. She became a lot more hands-on so with her this. music during her later career. During the mid-2010s, from around 2013 to 2017, she would experiment with her music 
and push her musical capabilities. Mm -hmm. Her newfound improved music abilities would come to full force with her hit palette, mm -hmm. a catchy <laughs> tune about hitting the quarter century mark in one's life so or cute. being 25 years old. You'll further see how her songwriting evolved in 2018's Beat B and 2019's Blooming. She was responsible for songwriting the entire 2019 Love Poem album, wow. producing Blooming, and a visitor on that wow. album. Her later 2018 and 19 releases have revolved around her growth as an artist this is one as of she my favorite older. Album. She's a flexible artist that can thrive flexible, not only K-pop, yes. ballads, and duets, but she's also dabbled in other genres from time to time, yes. such as EDM. EDM. I would say one of her more impressive feats is taking iconic old Korean classics from 20 to 30 years ago, covering the song in an updated song, and introducing millions of people to a classic. One song in particular, Sleepless Rainy Nights, in 2017, is a classic from the Kim Gunmo 1992 retro hit. But I've seen this look. Oh, I've heard of this on Spotify. After IU covered the 90s retro song, oh. many went to check out Kim Gunmo's original song. Mm. Oh. Wow, IU. Listeners have resonated with her increased music control and direction as she becomes more successful with full control of her career. She continues yes. to sell millions, has her songs ranked number amazing. one on Melon, and Straight has garnered tens of millions of views on her music videos on YouTube. Very few K-pop stars are able to achieve complete independence from their music label or producers. But Edam, her music label, knows that IU wields enough power to do just that. Uh -huh. Plus, I'm sure that Edam knows not to mess with a good thing, as yeah. IU can generate sales and hype from her music CF's an acting <laughs> career. Now we gotta talk about her social media influence. So on the show Knowing Brother, IU explained Cute. that her nickname was Lee Ji Gum because Gum means gold in Korean. Uh -huh. Her real name oh, is yeah. actually Lee Ji Un, so Gum would replace the Un part in her name. Mm. So to write her name, Lee Ji Gum, on a Korean D keyboard, it's D L W L R M A. Mm. Yes. So from there, her social media would just be that. The way <laughs> to type her name in, in Korean. Korean. And it's oh, an inside you guys joke told me that. that her fans, known as Puena, would know. With millions of her Uena fans on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, there are thousands of IU fans like all over the world. Her having this much influence shows that she's very relevant in Korean oh, entertainment so, today. As any new drama, song, poem. or TV appearance from her will instantly get a lot of attention just yes. from her social media backing alone. While IU is currently 28 in Korean age, she'll still be one of the most iconic nation's little sisters. Now, mm. this title is normally reserved for female teens to early 20-somethings that are well. hugely popular and mainstream, with most of these young females being singers, actresses, TV personalities, and athletes. IU isn't in the nation's little sister range any mm -hmm. longer, but with her popularity still very high, she resembles the popularity oh, levels so that the new trending nation's little sisters enjoy today. While IU is closer to her 30s than her youthful 20s, her mm -hmm. age isn't stopping her. IU yeah. is showing that she'll continue to she be one of Korea's most powerful celebrities like in the near future. So what did you guys think about this video and IU? I'd love to know your take in the comments below. That is really an informative sort of like a video that makes you proud that you like became an IU fan. Um, so yeah, she is here and she is here to stay so it's just amazing how she like evolves every time like you, when you think like Ayu has achieved everything she comes in and just surprise you of what she can do like so amazing so recently right about let's talk about her influence like because she did sing the the I don't know main song for island i actually want to watch that um show even if ayu is not there that is how powerful she is because she's seeing the song everyone just gets pulled in well anyway um yeah um it's amazing to me like they said that ayu's face is everywhere in korea i actually hopefully want to visit korea soon and i'm hoping to see like a lot of her face there so hopefully soon after this pandemic and you know enough savings and get a visa probably <laughs> so well anyway thank you guys so much for suggesting this video and huge shout out to pop sorry and um i'll see you guys next video bye bye